Through the facilities of WLW Cincinnati, Ohio, the National Broadcasting Company takes pride in presenting to you another Stan Kenton concert in miniature. A man and his orchestra synonymous with music that is new, vigorous, and refreshingly different. Direct from Moonlight Gardens, Coney Island, Cincinnati, we bring you Stan Kenton's exciting interpretation of modern American music, and we're sure you'll enjoy these fresh, stimulating ideas. And now here's Modern America's Man of Music and your conductor, Stan Kenton. This evening here at Coney Island, uh, we'd like to get you people that are listening to this concert miniature tonight straight. We want you to know that this is ladies' night here, and there are about 2,000 chicks here on the sharper side that are here visiting Coney Island this evening, and so naturally it's a wonderful time here. We, we hope we hit the girls here with some of the things that they enjoy, and to get this concert miniature underway this evening, here is something that is original music. Original music, that means something that was written especially for this orchestra to get the greatest advantage out of the, the sound and the talent here. This is an overture, and it's simply titled uh, The Opener. Gentlemen, it's been announced. Start making sounds. Mm-hmm. 
As I explained, that was an original composition that was written in our particular idiom of jazz for the orchestra by Bill Holman. It came to us in a rather material way on a piece of manuscript, and then, of course, when the fellas take the notes from the manuscript and pump a little life into them, we hope that you felt some kind of an emotional reaction that it was on the pleasant side. Standing next to me here is the the guy that's the star of the tenor saxophone chair with the orchestra. He's uh, in his, what, a third or fourth week, Jack? Uh, third week. Actually. Third week, and we have a structure here that uh, will kind of frame the sound here and the impro improvisations of Sims as he presents this next thing. Incidentally, Jack, confidentially, you could do us a big favor. The introduction somehow is something that should be omitted, and it might be nice if you kind of set your own mood. You blow a cadenza or two, and then when you feel that you're ready for the, the accompaniment with the rhythm and the organ sounds and background, why, we'll probably hear your version of Talk of the Town. Start warming up. Jack Sims, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> here is acknowledging some applause. I'd like to explain that this next number is one of the new concepts, the 1953 version of Artistry and Rhythm. It's not at all a stranger to concert miniature, and a few people listening in will pardon me for a moment while I speak to those of you here in Coney Island. We want you people to know that are, 
that are dancing are going to attempt to dance to this, be sure that you be careful because there could be terrible things happen about the center of the arrangement because the beat starts getting pretty involved. Here's the Cuban thing called 23 degrees north, 82 degrees west. Soloist, Lee Konitz, he plays second. Frank Rossellino plays first. Lee Konitz plays alto, Rossellino plays trombone. Uh, this is Stan Kenton trying to kick it off. Thank you very much for your reaction to this action here. Ladies and gentlemen, I have introduced this fellow a lot of times this past year, and I've said many things about him, and I've said so much, and at the moment I'm a bit of, well, I'm a kind of at lost for words here. If uh, uh, Frank Rosslaney, would you kind of tell me something I could say about you that possibly I haven't said before? Well, uh, you can tell them that uh, they're going to hear the greatest trombone player in the country. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, you're going to hear the greatest trombone player in the country. What else, Frank? And uh, if they don't believe it, uh, you come and see me. <laughs> if you people don't believe it, you come and see it and uh, see for yourself. Anything else, Frank? And uh, the tune we're going to blow is uh, what? Well, I know the tune. <laughs> Haven't you been informed? I forgot. Well, it's I Got It Bad, and I think that... Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah. I'll... Uh, Very nice tune. Yes. We want to explain that this is Frank Rosslino kind of rounding things out. The things I've spoken of him this last year, he's kind of given me a couple of extra things. Thanks for the clue, Frank. Well, that's all right. If you'll back away from the microphone, now we'll give the downbeat and we'll have your version of Duke Ellington's I Got It Bad and That Ain't Good.
of the greatest things about Ross Leno's personality is his very sweet, simple humility. We want to, at the moment, uh, let the rest of the orchestra that is accustomed to playing melody and harmony to serve as an accompanying instrument here in a group for the face of Don Bagley, the guy we know as Bags. Here's the composition that is because of Bags and for Bags. It's Bags. <laughs> Good, doesn't it? Yes. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, I think that uh, it's only proper that I retaliate at the moment. Uh, I was introduced at the beginning of the program by the announcer here that's officiating. I'd like to return the compliment and have you meet him. And ladies and gentlemen, this is Bernie Barron. Say, hey, Bernie, uh, Kind of off the record or on the record. Are you a jazz fan? Very much so. Oh, you are? Very much, yes. Well, then probably you'd like to meet some of these guys. So this is uh, Sal Salvador right behind you. Sal, this is Bernie Barron. Meet Don Bagley. Just played the solo. It's Bags. Uh, Stan Levy playing drums. Bernie Barron, Stan. Don's been with you a long time. Yes, he's going on about four years. Bags, right? You might kind of wave at the first time before Buddy Childers. First of all, player Bob Burgess. This rather studious-looking chap here in front wiping the perspiration at the moment. Is Lee Conant. He plays I first up. up. A new side by him. Oh, did you? Yes, I did. What side did you pick up? Uh, it's with the Mulligan Group. The Mulligan Group. Very good. They're wonderful sides. Bernie, it's so nice of you to come out here this well, evening. Dan, I think the music is wonderful. I know the folks are enjoying it. I certainly am. Well, Bernie, that makes me feel so happy. I'll just back right away. NBC is presented to you another Stan Kenton concert in miniature. Stan's refreshing original conception and interpretation of music in the modern idiom. Our broadcast tonight came to you direct from the Moonlight Gardens, Coney Island, Cincinnati, Ohio, through the facilities of WLW in Cincinnati. Join us again next week at the same time for another Stan Kenton concert in miniature featuring the dynamic quality of a group of musicians and its leader who present to you the freshest and most stimulating ideas 
in modern American music. This is Bernie Barron speaking, speaking for the entire Stan Kenton Orchestra. Thanks for joining us tonight on the concert in Minnesota. This program came to you through the facilities of WLW in Cincinnati. This is NBC, the national broadcast.